My name is Lin Mei. I'm professor and chair of Department of Neurosciences, Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine. My lab study brain development and how brain works, and also pathophysiological mechanisms of brain disorders, including schizophrenia, autism. My lab recently published a paper in Neuron on mechanisms of attention. So top-down attention, it's a thought driven attention. It's a goal-oriented attention. For example, if you are very hungry, you look for the McDonald's side, that's called top-down attention. And the bottom-up attention is you're not very hungry, you don't want to eat at the moment, but when you see the McDonald's signs, all of a sudden you pay attention to that and you might end up eating uh, some food, and that's called a bottom-up attention. So bottom-up attention is based on the environment and initiated by the sensory stimuli in the environment. I would like to introduce my colleagues, Zabin Tan and Heath Robinson, postdoc and students in my lab. My name is Zabin Tan. I'm a research scientist in Case Western Reserve University. In this study, we use a well-established behavior paradigm if the mice successfully identify the lead aperture, it will get a food reward. We recorded neuronal activity from hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex at the same time when the mice is performing five choice tasks. My name is Heath Robinson. I'm a graduate research assistant in Dr. May's lab in the neuroscience department. So in this experiment, we uh, associated um, them poking their, their nose in a hole that had just been um, lit up to uh, a reward in the back of the behavior task. And so that the mice would um, pay attention and when the light flashed, they'd poke their nose in. And if they did so in the correct format, they would go to the back of the behavior uh, test and get, and get a reward for their action. We discovered that um, top-down attention which was previously thought to just involve the prefrontal cortex, also involves the hippocampus, um, specifically the synchrony between the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex is very high during top-down attention. When attention is high, synchrony between these two regions is high. The next step for our research is um, we, we studied ERB4, which seems to be involved with uh, GABA release um, within the prefrontal cortex and hippocampus in attention. So not only studying um, perhaps more of a mechanistic view of this uh, attention in these circuits, also looking at ERB4's role in other brain regions. Um, as has been shown, ERB4 is important for schizophrenia um, and major depressive disorders and other mental disorders. Um, and so it's likely involved in other brain regions, which is probably part of the, um, the phenotype or the, what's seen in the clinic with these other mental disorders that involve ERB4.